another video. I'm coming today to do a Dollar Tree haul. I know it's been a long time. It's been like months and months and months. I was looking back at my last video the other day and I was like, girl, what in the world? But you guys know, as I have explained in my previous videos, that um, sometimes I'm not feeling good. And unfortunately, sometimes I'm not feeling good for a very long time. So, this was one of those times. Today, I'm kind of um, not feeling 100%, but I'm feeling better than I was feeling in the past. Um, and I was feeling a lot better than this earlier, but I went to Starbucks because I love me some Starbucks. And I had a gift card. So, I went there to get me um, a salted caramel frappuccino. And I was like, well, let me get it on ice. Because normally when I drink something um, something caffeinated that's warm, like coffee or whatever, it gives me a little headache. So I noticed it. Count how many times I say so during this video. <laughs> that sometimes when I drink it on ice, I guess because the water kind of dilutes it a little bit once the ice melts, um, I don't really have a headache. But today, um, it kind of gave me like a little bit of a headache. So... I'm going to have to kind of stay away from it a little bit. So, I don't know, but it was so good. It was really, really good. But anyway, I'm glad to be back. I did post a walkthrough video earlier, and I got as much footage as I could. <sighs> today was a Sunday, the day that I did the walkthrough, which is today, which is October the 11th. And it was... It wasn't a lot of people in Dollar Tree, but every time I went down the aisle, it was like two or three people. So it was kind of hard for me to get like everything that I needed to, to get out to show you guys and explain. So I got as much footage as I possibly could get. I will definitely post that video, hopefully before this video, so you can see some of the things that they have. I did get most of the new items. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back um, to the Dollar Tree, a different one, of course and try to do another walkthrough. I like doing my walkthroughs in the morning throughout the week. So I have a lot of doctor's appointments throughout the week. So what I do is I leave home like an hour early and go to Dollar Tree and walk through and see what they have because people are at work or they're still asleep. So that gives me a chance to kind of like have the store to myself. But I hope you do enjoy just the walkthrough that I'm gonna post um, that I did for you on today or today for me, but whenever you watch it. So let's get into this haul, haul, haul. I'm excited. I'm excited. But let me tell you something right quick. I went to Dollar Tree about two weeks ago. Two and a half, two and a half, three weeks ago, I think it was. And they gave me the coupon. It's over there. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to get up and get it. But you know the little coupon they give you that says, um, 10% off your total purchase, blah, blah, blah. So I was so excited. I put it in my pocket. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to take this with me, put it so I can see it, because I'm going to use this thing. Ask me why I had it in my pocketbook, connected to my little notebook. And ask me why I went up there, cashed out, got in the car, and was like, girl, you did not use your coupon. And, of course, the clerk didn't say, hey, do you have the um, extra 10% off your purchase of 10 or more? Because, you know, we're doing that today. So, I could have saved, like, $2.50, and I didn't do it. Now, I know $2.50 probably not a lot to most people. But $2.50, hmm, you can get some off the dollar menu. You can get you some, get two things from Dollar Tree. But, anyway, that's not the here and there. I did get some great items. So, I want you to see those items that I picked up. And I hope you like them. So let's get started. Okay, so I have these in no order whatsoever. No order, no order, no order. I'm just gonna be pulling stuff out of the bag. So hopefully it flows. And hopefully he bagged it so it's kind of grouped together. Cause that's kind of I put on the cash, then on the little conveyor belt. I put it on the conveyor belt like together in groups. So I hope he bagged it that way because I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> okay. Drinking my H2O. All right, so let's get started. So, the first thing I picked up, I walked past these. I think every time I went to Dollar Tree for like the last month, I walked past these things. And I'm like, no. And 
You know what would get you in trouble? Watching Dollar Tree hauls. Because I didn't even want these things. Because I saw them, I'm like, I don't need them. I don't want them. But then I saw so many people haul them and say different things they were going to use them for. So I'm like, I'm going to get these things because I think I need them now. Still don't need them, but I got them anyway. And there's this right here. These. This, this, this. I'm trying to get that glare out. Can you see it? Okay. Right there. So it is the Essentials Collapsible Storage Container. Um, it's a pull handle is nine inches by nine inches and eight inches in height and of course it's, it's distributed by green bright international i'm gonna take it out so you can see the color so hopefully it won't be a glare and i should have did this before sometimes i know that plastic be rattling y'all be like what in the world so this is what it looks like and then you just open it up like this like so and you know you put the little um the little thingamajiggle in the middle. And this is how it is. Like that. So as you can see back here, my color scheme for fall is black, white, and orange. So it goes with the, the color scheme. But I still don't know what I'm going to do with it. I was thinking about maybe like I have a hay, hay barrel thing outside. I think about putting like hay in it maybe. I don't know. But anyway, they're cute. So I've got one. And I've got two. And three. Look, two and three. So that's that. That's that bag. So the next bag I got was. And this bag is. The little pocket calendar it's a 2021 calendar can you see it right here and basically it's just the same basic calendar um you know in the beginning you have like your well let me open it up first so you can see you have like your you know your um your mom's and then you have like all of your little holidays and stuff can you see that and then you have your your toll-free numbers, your frequently call numbers in here. And then basically, you know, you have the little planner thing, planner thing I'm gonna jiggle. And this planner goes all the way up until, hmm, let's see, to December the 31st of 2021. And then in the back you have like your addresses and stuff like that, you know. And a lot of people say they don't they don't need this address page, but I like this page because granted we put phone numbers in our phone, but we don't put addresses. And sometimes when you go places, they may put um, emergency contact or who do you want to use as a reference or I don't know, things like that. Or um, this particular doctor, what was the address and say you left your phone home or your phone is dead. You can just pull that thing on out and just write it on down. So I'm old fashioned. I still like the um, address books and things like that because. Sometimes I'll be forgetting stuff. Okay, the next item I picked up were these stickers. Right here. Hold on, you guys. It's a glare. I'm going to fix it. Hold right, on. I'm back. I wanted to. It was a glare. It's still kind of a glare, but not as bad. I had the main light on. But these stickers are less planner stickers, and you get 348 stickers. And this is what the front looks like. I'm gonna show you the back up close so you can see it. This is the back, what's in the back? Right here. This is the back of the stickers. And I'll open up a couple of pages to show you too. But this is the first page. And then you have, let's see, uh, this page right here. And then I'll show you like maybe like one more page. And this page right here. So, and there's more pages than that in there, but that's just a few of them. And you get 348 stickers. So I do a lot of planner, planner, not planner videos, but I do decorate my planner and things like that. So I like to have these stickers to make it look kind of cute. So I picked up this one. And then I picked up another one. And this one has 369. And this one looks like this, super cute. 
And then this is the back of that one. So cute, so cute. And then right there. And then I'll show you a few in here that's like, yeah, y'all. Let's see this one right here. And then I'll show you another one. Do you have a lot of these? These are nice because you can use these. Like I use these in my planner to like add like bullet points. So yeah. And then you have this. So yeah. So I was like, oh yeah. Did I need those? Probably not. But they were cute and they were new. And I'm like, I can use them. You can never have enough stickers. Never, never. Okay. So the next thing I picked up, um, I need a new calendar. And I'm still looking for one more calendar. Why I need new, two new calendars, I do not know why. But I, I can't remember the other one I'm looking for. Once I see it, I'll know it. But it's one other one I'm looking for. But in the meantime, this is the one that I really, really, really wanted. I saw Bon Bon Halls. I saw her show this on her channel because I think she makes magnets or something like that. So when I saw this calendar, it was really pretty and vibrant, but also the wording on it was like so meaningful, so touching. And I'm like, 2020 was a beast. So I need to go on 2021 with some inspiration. So I picked this one up and it says every moment matters. Every moment matters. And then on the back, it has different things like strong and brave, um, proved and wrong right here. Like, it's just so inspirational. So inspirational. So, and it has, like, um, right here, you matter. You know, so, yeah. Right. Sorry, y'all. That glare was horrible. I'll do better next time. You matter, so I was like, I need this. I need this in my life, so I'm excited to be using it. And next time, you guys, I'm going to... Um, close probably is one of the windows because I know it's a little glare so I'm sorry about that. I will fix that next time but this time y'all Jerry better just bear with me because I'm kind of going through the motions going through the motions but I wanted to show you girl them bra straps <laughs> you guys these goodies so bear with, bear with me. So the next thing I picked up was I'm trying to think who said they like these. I want to say was it um was it Keto Twisted Gypsy? Is that her son like these? I'm not sure, but it might have been her, but I'm not sure. But these are the mini uh, bars, the peanut ones right here. And it says no preservatives, no artificial flavors, gluten-free, high protein. They're individually wrapped, 3.18 ounces. Um, and the ingredients are peanut, sugar, maltose sugar white sesame palm oil and salt so yeah that's these and i'm gonna open it i'm gonna see what it looks like um in here and i'm gonna see what it tastes like and you get you get not nine in this bag nine in here so when you take it out this is how little it is a tiny little thing and i want to taste it right now because you know what you guys i'm hungry i ate something like a piece of banana bread or something like Early, early this morning, but I'm hungry now. Hold on, I'm gonna taste this for you. Gotta pray over your food, honey, because, girl, what's going on in the world? You gotta pray over your food. Let's see. Mmm. I forgot to show y'all what it looked like. Well, this is the rest of them. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, woo. This is by Fruta too. Sorry for smacking Fruta. You heard me smack, so you must already know. It's good. It's good. It almost tastes like um you know how you get around the holidays, they have the peanut brittle, but it's like the peanut brittle and like the squares. 
It tastes like that, but not as sweet. So you can tell it's a little bit on the healthier side. So that's good. That's good. All right, the next one I picked, the thing I picked up was this hot cocoa with marshmallows. Mm. And you get six in here. And now I'm thinking, I'm like, am I even gonna bring a drink? I like this because I don't know what's going on because, excuse me, I used to bring a drink caffeine. I don't drink as often as I used to. Really, I don't drink it at all anymore. But um, even when I didn't drink it as often, I would. Thank you, Jesus! You don't finally fix them bra straps. I would drink it, and it wouldn't give me a headache. But now I drank some decaffeinated coffee like about three days ago. And I got a headache. So I'm like, what's going on? My body not my body rejecting it now all of a sudden? I don't know, y'all. I don't know. But I do want to show you if I'm able to, if I'm able to, excuse me for reaching over here. If I am able to um drink this, I purchased some of these, the fireside marshmallows, the mini ones, and it's a 10.5 ounce bag. So what I like to do, because you know I'm a thick girl. So I like to have this, one of these, right here, and I like to put extra marshmallows in it. Baby, you talking about something good? Mm. Try it, try it, try it. It's good. So I picked up these two. Ooh. So when it gets a little bit cooler outside, I can fix me some hot cocoa. Y'all, wish me, just wish me positivity that I better drink this hot cocoa because I love me some hot chocolate. Hopefully I'm ready to drink it. I hope so. So, next thing I purchased was these chicken bites. And these are good, honey. This bag right here is a 5.5 ounce. Now, I haven't tried this flavor before. This is the big bowl made with all white chicken flavor, the buffalo style. Right here. And I haven't tried this flavor before. Um, you can microwave it. You can do a conventional oven or you can put it in a toaster. I like to put mine in the oven because it has like a little bit of like a crunchier taste. But I always get this kind right here. And they were out for a good little while. This is the um the bold all white meat chicken flavor, the honey barbecue. And this is also a 5.5 ounce bag. So I always get these. And you know who got me hooked on these? Um Brown Eyes on a Budget. Brown Eyes on a Budget showed these one day and I was like, let me see if they're really good. Because she'd be like, baby. So I, um, my friend got me some and I tried them and I was like, these things are delicious. So, uh, I went back to get some and they didn't have any. I guess this is when all the, everything was happening. And then another doctor I went to, they ended up, um, like, I guess closing down their freezer section. So... It was like out of order, so I don't know what happened with that whole situation. But now, the one I went to today, they have these in back in, um, you know, back in stock again. So I picked up three of these. I'm going to eat one of these today. I picked up three of these. They're good. They're good. I picked these up. I tried these a long time ago. I don't remember what they, I think they were good. I really do think they were good. But I'm going to um, try them again. It's the boneless pork riblets uh, with barbecue sauce right here. And if I can remember correctly, these were good. And there's a 4.2 ounce bag. And one serving is a whole tray. So, yeah. I have that. I'm going to put this stuff away, honey, in a few minutes. Because if you don't start rattling them bags, you're going to give people a headache, girl. It's starting to fall out. So, there you go. The next thing I picked up was, I picked up some of these to put in my purse, some tissues. Yeah, because I had ran out of these. And it's just standard tissues, a three-pack, and you get ten in each one. So, yeah, I got those. I was looking for this, y'all. Oh, I was looking for it. It was on my wish list. Because everybody and their mama was hauling it. I'm like, I need that. I need that in my life. So, it is a meat chopper. Dishwasher safe. It's by Cooking Concepts. Right here. Can you see it? Cooking Concepts. Right here. And that's how it looks. 
and that's the bottom and this is the only color they had but let me tell y'all something how y'all ever be trying to make some tacos or some spaghetti and you get that beef or turkey meat or whatever you get you cook with and you be having to take that fork or that spatula or whatever and try to just bring up that meat Depends on what kind of meat you get. Sometimes you be trying to do that for days. But this, you guys, it is very, very well made. When I went to the store a few minutes ago or a couple hours ago or whatever, and I saw it, I was like, this thing probably just is flimsy. Because sometimes when you see things on hauls, you be like, I want it, I want it. And then when you get a store, you're like, what? Are they serious? So when I pick this up, I'm like, I mean, it is like sturdy, sturdy. So when I do tacos from now on or... Um, chop my meat up for spaghetti or lasagna or whatever. I will be using this. So I'm excited. The next thing I picked up, and I should have picked up two of these. Just a bonnet right here. Um, I should have picked up two of these because usually when I go back, um, they don't really... They've been sometimes they be out for a very long time. I don't know why, but they do. And it's just a higher bonnet you put on your head at night. Um, to keep your hair like you know from messing up your pillowcase or to keep it moisturized and lock in moisture and things like that So yeah, I picked up this one this one I normally get the all black one, but this one has a little as you can see a little pattern to it So got that one gonna be fancy. Then I picked this up y'all something in here is sticky. Oh my gosh, and I Don't have nothing to wipe my hands off with <clears throat> I can't stand that. Okay. I picked up this one. It's full healthy lashes um, soy protein enrich, enriched with panthenol, um, enhanced and defined eye. Oh, that's another language, Lord Jesus. But it's mascara and it's in very black. Right here. Y'all can see it. And this is 0.24 ounces. And the reason why I picked this up, 3D Tiffany picked this up and said her, her and her daughter like it a lot. And she said the wand is really thin. So it's easy to get in there and like really like get all of the eyelashes because you can tell I don't hardly hardly have any eyelashes <laughs> and I don't know why because I don't wear fake eyelashes so I don't pull the glue or anything like I don't wear them but I don't know what happened to my eyelashes well I do know when I went through the chemotherapy um of course you know your hair fall out your eyebrows and things like that but I lost my eyelashes and Everything else came is coming back and came back, but my eyelashes. So this, but this out this side over here is longer than this side. So anyway, hopefully this will make it look full and a little bit more even. And I picked up this. Oh y'all, I know what that sticky stuff is. It's them donuts. I get to that in a few minutes. But this is the nail polish holder, and I wanted this to. I've seen like people hard it something. Like, I hope they get it. I hope they get it. And they had it. They had it. Purple and blue. Mm. Purple and pink, but I picked up the pink one because I really like pink. And it says it helps eliminate spilling or dripping. So, right here I got the pink one. And you can see, hopefully you can see down here yeah, what she's doing. So, this one come in handy for me because I always like, I either tip it over and spill it or I'm trying to hold it and mess up a nail. So, I was excited, excited to find this. Then, I'm going to keep this in the bag because this is what's making everything sticky. And I don't understand why it's making everything sticky because um, when I picked it up and put it in my car, it wasn't sticky. So, I don't know. I have the blame this purchase also on brown eyes on the budget because she talks about these all the time. And I was like, I'm not going to eat any sweets today. Then I saw these because we, we never have them. Never. And today I was like, Lord, we got the donuts. I got to sit up here and try these things. So it's the Wild Six Four Dollar Donut Time Naturally Flavored Glazed Donuts, nine ounces, and they prepare them. They said keep frozen till use, and then it says thaw at room temperature one to two hours and enjoy within five days after you thaw. Um, you can put them in a microwave to warm them up as well. And here they go right here. Sorry you can see that bad, but they are sticky, and I do not want my hand to get any more stickier, stickier, or any more sticky. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right here. So. I cannot wait to try these because they look so good. And Brown Eyes on the Budget say they so good. So we're going to see. Okay. The next thing I picked up were these right here. The Top Ramen Chicken Flavor No Added MSG Ramen Noodles. It's a five pack. And I picked these up because I 
try not to eat a lot of carbs. Um, sometimes though, if I'm at home and I'm really like want something to eat and I don't have a lot of energy because of the medications I'm on, and sometimes I want something quick, um, I may Oh my gosh, did she just flush the toilet during my video? <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Okay. I probably will cook one of these. But to be honest, I may eat one of these like every, I don't know, maybe every three months or every six. I don't even eat them like that. This is just like if I feel like I need something to eat. And also, too, um, when I don't have soup and I feel kind of nauseous, if I eat this, it helps out. It helps with that. So I like to keep these in the house and I didn't have any. So I got a five pack of the chicken flavored ones. And then I got a five pack of the beef flavored ones. And these are open, but they, they, they weren't open in the store. Y'all know I'm clumsy. So I went to grab them to open them. Excuse me. And the bag ripped. And I wasn't about to put these back and get a new bag because that's just trifling. So I just picked up the bag that I had ripped and, um, you know, whatever. So right here Oops, upside down there they go and these don't expire until is it have it up here let me see so they might not have it y'all let me see if they got it up here it's sometimes it's hard to to july of july of 2021 and this one expires august of 2021 so yeah, and these, do they have a day with these? Oh, and the, the mini um, bar pe peanuts, they expire June 4th of 2021. So everything has really good shelf life. And I picked up this because I've been wanting popcorn like forever. And it's like, I don't really want the, um like a lot of the, um some popcorns are like really, really like greasy and stuff like that. But um I was surprised to see that the popcorn at Dollar Tree it's not, it's butter popcorn, but it's not a lot of carbs in it. It's like 13 grams of carbs for three cups. And um, actually, sorry, 11 grams of carbs for three cups. And that is like kind of low. It's, it's kind of low, depending on how you eat it. But, um, and I don't have to rub out popping it or nothing like that. So I picked up one of these because I love popcorn to watch movies. And I've been watching movies and stuff and I've had no popcorn. So I'm like, I haven't had any popcorn. So I'm like, I need some popcorn in my life. And this expires January of 2021 right here and i love these because on the brims they always have like a scripture right here and so this one says isaiah 26 and 3 you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you so i'm like i need that inspiration y'all i need that inspiration okay so the next thing is i have some christmas stuff i'm gonna say my christmas stuff for last so the next bag is, y'all, I finally found it. And I wanted to go in the back to see if they had more Lysol spray. But at this point, I was so hot because I had been in the store for about an hour. I literally started feeling nauseous and I felt like I was going to pass out. So these two were on a end cap with um, hand sanitizer. I don't know if that's where they keep them at or they keep them back there with the um, washing powders and stuff. But I saw these and I'm wondering now... When I go into Dollar Trees, am I looking in the wrong spot? Because I always look back there where all the other sprays and disinfectant sprays are and cleaning stuff, and I don't see them. But these were up towards the makeup area, right beside sanit hand sanitizer and, um, yeah. So I was like, that's weird. But anyway, they're not big cans, but you know what? I will take it. They're six ounces, and this one is the linen scent, and it's disinfectant sprays by Homebright, and it says it kills the flu virus, kills 99.9% .9 germs um, in 10 minutes. So, that's one. That's the linen. And then I also picked up the country scent disinfectant spray right there. So, I was like, thank you, Jesus. Because I have been going to Dollar Tree over and over again trying to find disinfectant spray. And when I look at hauls, people have like rows and rows of disinfectant spray. And I'm like, well, why are we getting out? We want to be safe too. So, when I saw those two today, it was this lady walking beside me. I slid by uh, behind her, beside her, and took mine, did a matrix, and took that disinfectant spray and put it in my cart. Sure did. Y'all, yeah, I'm sorry I'm showing y'all my armpit. So just I like you don't see it. I like you don't see it. Okay, I did pick up a candle. I know. The Audrey candles are hit and miss. Sometimes they work for some people, sometimes they don't work for other people. And I don't know what is the deal with that, but 
this kind of smells so good. I just want to try it. So I hope it, I hope, I hope it works. It's the strawberry shortcake one, three ounces right here. You can see it. I don't know y'all can be able to see. I'm trying to get it so you can see. There you go. And y'all, it smells so good. It smells so good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to light this right now. But I, I want to light this right now, but I already have a candle lit. Um, and I got this one from Marshall's. And it's the um, Peony Petals. So, and it smells good too. So, I don't want to light that one right now. So, hopefully, it'll work. Okay, the next thing I purchased. Now, I know they had these in two packs. Um, where they had some people hauling them and they had a, let me y'all on my leg, I heard going to sleep. They, um, people haul them and they had a two pack. I didn't really need the mask on the back of the two pack. I may go back and get it and just try it just in case, but I definitely wanted to try this. Um, I picked up three of them, three of them, and they are the, um, Freeman Polishing Charcoal and Black Sugar Gel Mask and Scrub. So it's a scrub and a mask in one. Um, it instantly detoxes pores and exfoliate for smooth skin. Dual action mask. So I wanted to try this so bad. I saw brown eyes on a budget try it and it looked like so refreshing. And I'm trying to um, try to maintain a good skin regimen. So I want to keep my face clean and, you know, um, smooth and all the things like that. And this is 0 0.5 full ounces. So just in case you wanted to know. If you hear that noise, someone just opened up the door. So okay, then I picked up three of these because baby. I picked up three of these. Uh, right here. Right there. And these are the Dermaseal Extra Moisturizing Hand Wash. It's enriched with um, Dermaseal formula, leaves skin feeling clean and soft with a pleasant, cool melon scent. And this right here, y'all, mm. mm. mm -mm -mm. mm. I wanted to buy every one they had on the shelf. I think I picked up three, and I think they had like two more left. Um, it's eight fluid ounces, and this is what it looks like. And I know other people had the cherry blossom. I don't know why I don't like that scent. Even in the body wash, I just don't like that cherry blossom scent. It tastes, it tastes. Lord, I hope I'm not eating no um, body wash or no hand wash. But it smells like a cheap cherry candy. Like um, I used to get when I was a kid from the candy later. You know you have the lemon heads, you have the cherry heads. It's like the cherry heads to me. And it's just, I'll eat the cherry heads, but I don't think I want to wash my hands and my body in it. But to each his own. But I picked up this one, the melon. And it smells really good. I picked up three of them. And lastly, you guys, I picked up some Christmas stuff. Because this year, normally... I do black, white, and red for Christmas. Um, really, any holiday, my main colors are always going to be black and white. And the reason why I do that is because I have a lot of black and white buffalo check items, you know, stuff, decor. And I want to use it every single time because I pay good money for it. So, I always incorporate black and white. No matter what else I do, it's always black and white. So, this year, I'm going to do black and white. And I'm going to do um, pink and gold. So, it's going to be... Black, white, pink, and gold are going to be my Christmas colors. So, I'm excited. And I hope it looks cute. I've never done pink before. I've only done um, black, white, and red. And I've done, I think I've done blue. I don't know, but I know I've never done pink. So, I want to make a wreath. So, I picked up, y'all, I picked up a ton of these. Let me get these together because I picked up so many of these things. Y'all, because, and you know, I'm glad I did pick them up because they didn't have many left. So I was like, mm, I need to um, get these things. So I hope I don't need more than what I have because I don't think I, my other Dollar Tree has them. So I don't know. But anyway, I picked up some of these and they have gold on them. You get three pine cones and they're called the Holly Bouquet. So you have gold and you also have like these little flowers like this with it and you have a little gold whatever that little thingy thingy is so i picked up one of, one of these i thought i picked up two of these but i think they only had oh i did 
I picked up two of these and both of them are in gold. I think that's only two I picked up. There's only two. <coughs> Excuse me, that's only the two that I, I was able to see that it had. And then I picked up one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then I picked up five of these. And these are the, they have the little balls right here. This is called decorative pick. And they have a little gold. And then they still have the acorns right here. I mean pine cones. I don't know why I can call this acorns. I'm gonna call this acorns like every day, but it's pine cones. And then they have another ball right there. So this is how these look. And they're so pretty. So I was thinking about, you know, putting them in a nice wreath. And I have an idea um, that I may show you guys. I'm not going to show you how to do the wreath I'm going to do, number one, because I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. But I think I am. But number two, I haven't learned how to set my camera up yet to um, video things like that. So when I do it, because I'm going to say I'm going to do it, I will show you the finished product. I'll show you like what I used to make it and the finished product if I remember, but I have to figure out how to, you know, do it so I can show you as I'm going along. Plus, this is my first time doing it, so I really don't want to show you because, honey, mm -mm. and then the last, no, this is not the last thing, I have a couple more things, and then I also picked up the gold glittery one, so you can tell they're different. This one is shiny, and then this one is glittery, so, and it has the same thing, the pine cone and everything. And this is also called a decorative pick. So I picked that up. And then the last couple of things I picked up were, and y'all, this has a ton, a ton of fallout. Like the bag is full of glitter. So I'm gonna have to spray with some hairspray. But I picked up this, this little angel wing, beautiful. And then I picked up, one of these, because I saw um, Pretty and Flaw show these through her walkthrough. So I picked up one of the little ballerinas. Isn't she pretty? And then I picked up some of these. The Peace, Joy, and Believe. Right here. Can you see it? Peace, Joy, and Believe. I picked up these because I like to make wreaths. And I like to put them in the middle of the wreath. So... I think I'm going to do that with these, I think. But I picked them up just in case because last time I picked up one pack and a couple people wanted me to make wreaths for them and when I went back to get them, they were all gone. All gone. So I picked up this one. Yeah, I only picked up one, I think, because I have some of these already and I picked up from a couple of trips ago. And then I picked up these right here. These two pack of ornaments and snowflakes. Aren't they pretty? I want you could make you know what y'all if I wore a big earring oh no that would be a hot mess mm -mm, no my but anyway these right here and then I picked up I picked up the little reindeers aren't they cute look a little reindeers right here two pack yeah and then I picked up a up a up a oh uh, these little trees they're so pretty two pack and then i picked up one more ballerina right here is she pretty and then and then and then i picked up this pink one pink angel wings it looks rose gold it looks rose it looks rose gold, but it also looks pink. So, I hope this goes because, you know, you know. And then the last thing I picked up was these bows right here. These bows. And that's it. I'm trying to do a Dollar Tree haul. What you want? Yes. These bows right here. Both. Okay, you guys, so that is it for my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that I'm going to try to do more hauls, you guys. I'm going to try to go out and do more things. Um, Yeah, because I, lo I love going to Dollar Tree and I do go. I don't go as often as I used to go because I haven't been feeling well. So I'm going to have to, you know, um, try.
try to get back into doing that. I'm going to try to go again on Monday because I have a Dots appointment on Monday and it's right beside Dollar Tree. So I'm going to go Monday and see what the other Dollar Tree has and things like that. Um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this haul. I hope you have a great day, great week. Stay encouraged, stay blessed, stay happy, stay positive. And as I always say in my videos, I'll see you in the next video. And what do I always say? Do you boo? Peace.